That's right, we are back again for Into the Radius VR. For those that didn't tune into my first video, this game is basically Stalker, but in VR. It's got a lot of really cool survival shooter mechanics, while some stuff you can tell in this video was starting to get on my nerves. But ultimately what happened was we explored the first area in the first video, and I kind of wanted to show you guys a little bit more further on in the game. So uh, essentially I ended up grinding out and recording myself grinding out uh, a couple of missions in the first area so that we could end up unlocking the next story mission. And by completing story missions in the game, we end up being allocated security points, which essentially is the level up system in the game. So as we end up completing main quests, we get more security level, which allows us to buy better guns and equipment. I did want to end up sharing some highlights. So there was an artifact that I had to discover in the middle of all of this crazy cluster. And I also ended up finding this really interesting place and didn't realize that when I walked up to it, it was engulfed in gas. So there is actually a gas mask in the game that we do end up getting a little bit later on. And even though this whole area is something that I didn't show in a video and originally I was going to leave it in the video, I decided against it. I wanted to just cut to us doing the next part of the main quest because Honestly, even though I love this game and can highly recommend it, there is a lot of busy work. It's been like maybe five hours total in my recording session with this game so far, just to get to this point. So yeah, with all of that said, it's gonna be very, very dark for a lot of the footage, but uh, that's kind of what this game is. So if I cut out all of the darkness, then we just wouldn't have any video. Okay, so we got two pieces of artifacts that we gotta get down here, which should be pretty easy. We've been there many times. And then we gotta go over into the village. That's gonna be the big area. Uh, I've got a backup set of supplies in case I die. Otherwise, this is all we're carrying with us right now. I hate how glitchy this backpack is, I swear to God. Uh, on top of all of this, I've got... Whoops. I got three mags total, all with 18 bullets each. It is nighttime though, so this is kind of risky. We do still have, uh, if it would ever show it properly, we have a day left. Now, during the last session that I did, I spent about 40 minutes out there and that combined with sleeping took a full day. So we're not sleeping now, which means that it's gonna be dark, which sucks, uh, but these first artifacts should be pretty quick and easy. Uh, another thing too that I found out in this game, which I absolutely hate, uh, is in terms of our weapon condition, <laughs> the mag of the gun matters as well. So I didn't know enemies were gonna come back. There's an enemy behind me. I can hear him. Ugh, stupid spider. Crap. Grab the pistol, please. So there's a spider on me. Again. I don't know where he went. I don't like that I have to, like, I need a headlamp really badly. Okay. That's why the enemies respawned. Because they were guarding the stupid treasure. So then there's another... Thing over there, but there is a spider somewhere. I can hear him. I think he's down here. Take that, you stupid idiot. Okay. Uh, crap. I didn't pack any backup shells. Because I was... Come on. I was kind of hoping we would get to go to the city, but I don't think we'll get the chance, unfortunately. This was just a little more over... Oh, this was a little more overwhelming than I expected it would be. Okay. I think we're good. So our treasure is in this crater, or is it back in the middle and it just respawned, like outright? I never checked that house.
Yeah, I think the treasure's back in the middle of this. Based on our map. Press the trigger to launch a flare in the direction is okay. <laughs> well, that's useless. I thought it was gonna be like a proper flare. I thought it was gonna light the area up. Like, that's pretty lame. Okay. Oh, God. I didn't even see that scumbag. Yeah, I'm gonna... Okay. I'm wildly underprepared right now. Totally thought we would have been okay. To... Oh, now the flare lights it up? Okay, so it has to be close enough to the ground. I don't remember how I got in here. Was it right here? Yeah, it is. No, it isn't. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Oh, that flare was actually really nice. I didn't realize it was that good. Dude. There, you scum. Okay. Well, that sucked. Um, nighttime deadly, lol. I guess, uh... Well, you know what? We got lots of pistol ammo. We might still be okay. I'm still gonna check this building for some supplies. And then, you know what? Screw it. We're, we're still gonna go to the village. Because by the time we get there, like, I'm trying to catch the daily reset. Like, I don't want to get stuck out there. And right now our time is still okay. Oh cool, there's nothing here. Uh, unfortunately, lots of the enemies seem to have respawned. Which doesn't really make much sense to me, but I guess that's just because it's nighttime, so it's just deadly. But yeah, now... Oh boy. We haven't... I haven't explored this area. I also haven't explored this road. There might be a lot of deadly enemies over there. But... Uh... Apparently, there's a shortcut back to the factory somewhere over there. So, I think we're going to take the risk. I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to go straight, true, and we're going to try and take this backwoods path because I think that's going to be better. Okay, so I do see that there's probably some supplies up there, but right now we're focused on our main mission and hopefully a shortcut because I'd love to explore a different area. I did hear an artifact, it's probably up there, but right now, this is uncharted territory for me. So, again, it's pitch black, so I don't... I don't feel the need to include too much of it for you guys. Oh boy, there might even be a sniper in that tower. What was that? What is that? What? Oh no. Can I not go this way because of these electric bushes? Or do I just gotta avoid them like crazy? Yeah, so far so good. I'm just worried that some of... Yeah. I'm... I'm at one hit. One freaking hit, bro. So I think those things weren't hurting me. It was a dude shooting at me. Is he up there? He might be. But I don't hear him up here. Oh no. I do. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this, because my flashlight... I mean, I have to do like that. Or, oh, you know what I can do? Okay. This may be a mistake. Wait, how am I supposed to do... 
I want to pull this pin on this grenade. Can I? Can I? Um, num, num. Okay. Okay, fall damage hurt. Goddamn game, dude. It's so stressful for all the wrong reasons. I just wanted to throw that bomb up at him, but I guess we won't get the chance. And unfortunately, that's all my healing items basically gone now. Okay. Um, health is still okay. Not great. I'll just drop down a save. I know it's kind of scummy. But I feel like this guy's gonna have like some crucial supplies that I definitely want to get my hands on. I'm right here, bro. Don't drop the gun. Don't drop myself. Oh my god. Ooh. Okay, I'm super vulnerable up here. Don't tell me that's all I came here for. I mean, I guess there's a flare. Okay, cool, but... Is that seriously all I came in here for? The ammo I don't need, and... I mean, I guess the shotgun ammo is good. Because I'll take all the ammo I can get, but... Now I'm really, really feeling it. I guess it was a mistake to head out in the dark. <laughs> oh boy. Is that really all there is? Unless that's something. No. Okay. Um, we're still good on time. I wonder if I can rest at all. Probably not. Let's see how we're doing on all of our stats. Okay. You know what? Let's try and get things a little under control. Get my food up. Uh, reload my mag. Man alive, six bullets already just wasted on that one guy. Actually, that was on a bunch of random enemies too, wasn't it? Reload this. Other mag. Oh, that one's good. Where's my other mag? There we go. There we go. Okay, yeah. Getting pretty low on supplies here. I gotta remember, like, that I have these on my jacket. Okay, and now the worst of it is trying to climb down without getting killed from fall damage. Making sure there's no scumbags down low. Because there probably still is scumbags sneaking around here. I know I'm saving often, but how can you blame me? Let's readjust our flashlight. That's not good enough. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. Okay, the thing is the flashlight, like, the game in the tips says that the flashlight is a dead giveaway. But at the same time... Honestly, um... Use a gas mask when hunting for artifacts. Oh, another field. Great. At the same time, honestly speaking, like, I don't know whether or not, um, the flashlight is giving me away or if it's just the bad AI and they just instantly know where I am. I mean, I really want this security level two. All right, I'm just kind of scouting the area because, uh, yeah, there's a bad guy right there. And he's going to shoot me.
Okay, he doesn't shoot, he just runs straight at me. I want security too, so that we can get silent stuff. Okay, there is a guy over there. Come on. Stupid goddamn. Grab it. Put it in. There we go. Oh, okay. There's a guy right there. There's an air runner guy right there. And where we need to get. I'm over here. And what we need is over there. And it also shows our shortcut over there. So. I'm thinking maybe we run. I don't think I can outrun this guy, but I'm still thinking maybe we run. Let's just go for it. See what happens. I saved. It's okay. Worst case, I die. At least I get to scout the area. Right? That's the important thing. I gotta watch out because I think that was some of the electric grass. Watch our stamina. My health is really bad. That's an area for a gas mask. Come on, Skyrim. Skyrim. Can I not Skyrim up this? Oh, I believe I can. There we go. So this, as far as I know, just goes backwards. I hear him. He's still following me. Or is that a spider? Getting ready to grab my shotgun. Okay, I gotta go down a long road. That flag right there. That might be our shortcut back to the factory. Unless it's just telling me the direction of the factory, like in general. Which would kind of suck. But the mission mentioned... The mission mentioned that there was um, a shortcut to the factory. They said as a secondary mission. So I'm kind of just keeping my eyes peeled for that in the off chance that that's a thing. Come on, you scum. Ow. Well, that was loud. And now I'm almost dead. You know what would be great? As if the morning would come. No, um... This exact same game, with the crazy amount of, like, crap it's got, but as, like, just a linear... Like, like, Metro. Like, the Metro games. I mean, I guess this is more like Stalker. I think there actually is a VR game that's similar to Metro. I might check that one out. I don't remember what it was called. It might not even be out, honestly speaking. I'm keeping an eye out because I know there's stuff over there. Okay. Oh my god, I'm not even close. Oh no. That house way over there is where we gotta go. Okay, well, maybe we can unlock the shortcut first. Because it looks like it's just right there. So over there. I just hope that this isn't electric grass and I'm going to die. The thing about this godforsaken game, dude. You gotta, like, keep your wits about you everywhere you go. And I know that there's going to be a bad guy that's just going to snipe me and then it's GG. But I'm just getting ready with my stamina to run for it. And I'm also trying to be very, very cautious and remember where all of these... I hear someone following me. I heard footsteps. Yeah, there he is in the town. I don't think he noticed me. Thank God. Because these new enemies suck. They're tanky and they just kind of run at you. At least from what I saw from that first one. How's our food? Good. Oh no. 
Okay. Grab the goddamn pistol. Stay calm. I hear that guy. I see that guy running at me. Oh god, everything's after me now. Go, 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 go. Ow. Oh, I'm in the acid area. Am I still in the acid area? It doesn't seem like I am, but for some reason I'm still taking damage. I'm gonna die. From what? You've been killed by web. Okay. Oh, so there's auto saves and stuff. Oh, so the game expects you to save scum. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks. It. That's the thing, dude. Like, I need the security level two. So that I can actually get a silencer, because otherwise everything and their grandma is already after me. And I don't think that I could silently use the knife. Okay, so it's like over there in the woods. You know what? Maybe I'll try and be sneaky. Oh god, I can't. Okay. Let's try and get to the shortcut. I think that's it right there, actually. Yep, this is it. Oh my god, it was right here. The shortest pass is most likely the most dangerous. Oh, that's true. The game keeps saying that, and that was totally the most dangerous. Okay, so now we just unlocked a shortcut. So that was zone one. Now we got our entryway to zone two. Okay, I'm totally not prepared for zone two yet, but that's pretty dang cool. Like we have it, we have it under, okay. We have it now. We we got it. So I could just keep grinding like some earlier missions or honestly I could speed run in there, slowly pick away the enemies. The thing is, since we only have one day left before the tide comes and everything resets, I didn't really kill anything in there. So I'm my strat is I'm gonna sleep the tide in and then we'll start tackling that area once it's reset. Otherwise, I could just keep grinding side missions, but I really want to get silencers. So, let's just do that. Okay, first of all... Gumball. Sample. Which seems to be repeatable. And then I could... Oh god, why does my backpack keep resetting where everything is? Yeah. Um, anyways, you guys have already seen all this stuff, so, uh, I'm just gonna kind of skip ahead here. Alright, and when I said that we were gonna wait for the next day and sleep and blah blah blah, nah, nah, I think we're good, man. We're just gonna go for it. Thankfully, like, even though this game is super duper dark, we can still take care of most of these enemies okay. Uh, can I put this? I can put it in my belt. But, uh, that might not be ideal. Unless I can put it, no, I can't put it anywhere else. Okay. Well, that's kind of weird. Uh, what is this? Dress dressing mode. Oh, is that like when I'm putting armor on and stuff, I guess? Check your equipment. So we got two guns. Map is at our back. Detector and flashlight, those aren't actually attached to us, so I don't know why they're acting like it is. And a headlamp, which we can't get yet because I desperately... Oh my god. We need security level 2. Like, really, really bad. Okay, so unfortunately, there's like a bazillion enemies here. So I think we're just gonna have to fight. Hopefully the day actually shows up. You can enter Radius without a mission and explore it as long as you like. I don't know why I would... Well until the tide gets you. Like, what are they talking about? Shut up. God, he's loud. There's a spiderling right there. Oh. 
Okay. That was pretty clean. Those two enemies anyway. So let's save. I don't care if it's scummy. I'm just going to take it slow. This gun guy, he's the one who put me into a panic. Well, him and the spider kind of combined. Because otherwise, I think that house is literally our mission. There's the spider web. I can see that. And I see you too, you scumbag. So that means someone was spawning that guy. Because if they don't have a core, that's what that means. Okay, daytime's coming. Ah, you son of a... You just... These goddamn clunky controls, dude. Get off my screen! Okay. I wanted to reload, dude, but you know what? Let's take this guy out. That's one. Uh, he just got like right back up. There's two other gun guys right there. No. There, full mag. Okay. Someone else is sneaking up on me. Yep. There's so many enemies. The problem is I need to reload. Okay, push. Push, 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 push. I barely even see this guy. One down. Is Max coming out to play? Come on, faster, you stupid game. Grab the goddamn gun. There you are. Shoot. There he is. I see him. There he is, sneaking around. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it! Stupid goddamn game, dude. Alright. Right as we run out. I have no more... How in the hell did I just grab the knife off of that arm? This freaking game, dude. There's like too many things. Okay, I see the normal enemy there. It's this building. I have plenty of shotgun ammo. We're good. 
there is a spawner somewhere in here. Like a spawning guy. I think he's in that building, actually. Based on the sound. Okay, can't open that. Whatever. Where? Where you at? Supplies? Dude, it would be so cool if I could crawl out the roof. Where is this idiot? Wait, is this what I needed? That was it. That was what we needed. All right, I'm out. Yes, there's more supplies. I don't care. How are we doing on time? We still got a day. You know what? I'm gonna go and find that scumbag. I think he's in that next building. Rabbit. God damn this game. Because... I should take advantage of the fact that everything's dead right now so that we can grab supplies. <laughs> Did I need to shoot him with the shotgun? No. Because the game has told me time and time again those guys are really easy and I can actually just knife them. Okay. Ooh. Without family to take care of them used to live in this village. I knew one of them, a woman, one of my kindergarten teachers. That's cool. She retired and moved out of the city just a couple years before I finished school. Sick. She could have retired earlier, but she loved working with children. So she kept working till she couldn't be rabbit. So many drop it. Goddamn VR, dude. I don't think she had children of her own. I Do I need this? No. I will eventually. Here. She was hunched over and wrinkled, but as commanding as ever. Dude, I wish you would stop talking because I swear there's a ghost out there that I can hear. Died, of course. And, uh. How? What were her final thoughts? I don't know exactly where he is because I can't hear him because she won't stop talking. Someone deserved it more. Oh, wow. A single bullet. I mean, honestly. Pretty crazy how, uh. Clutch it all came. Like, it, it all came right down to the wire. With all of our uh, ammo and gear and stuff. My dearest babushka, blah, 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 blah. Oh, there's an upstairs. Not an upstairs. Supply room. I hear that enemy. Where? I hear them. I got plenty of shoddy ammo. Ooh, that was close.
Okay. Back to work. And there was nothing even up there. Sweet! <laughs> I mean, I guess that's the way it goes, right? So far... I like how they got Red Bull in their kitchen. Another flashlight. Another knife. Come on. There. Good God. I don't care how disorganized my backpack is. Oh, okay. But yeah, so far, um... Not, not very good loot, dude. Not a very good haul. Like, we got some stuff and it's okay, but there's still that house to check, but we didn't check this one too thoroughly. At least, like... Sorry, I thought I heard an enemy. I wonder if it's gonna make a difference if I, uh... Clean items. Before I... Oof. Before I try and sell them. Probably not. And I mean, yeah, this is a village. Obviously, it would be raided. So it kind of makes sense. Oh my god. Alright, that's not how the world works, but sure thing, game. Just... Stop, bro. Alright, shotgun shell's worth it. I could've just put that in my gun. But, oh well. I don't know why those tapes don't play. <laughs> like, I must be doing something... Wrong. What was that? I hear somebody in here? Maybe not. Kind of wish I could turn the lights on or something, dude. Toilet paper. Sweet. I'm rich. Wow, that is a sound. <laughs> Can I open this? Oh, hell yeah. There we go. That's an even bigger grenade than the ones that we've got. Oh boy. Now the only question is... Is there a gun? To match all these bullets? Probably not. Can you climb better, game? Please? Well, there's some stuff. So the cool thing is that... I can already tell these are just rusted. So we can clean these off and they'll be as good as new. Not that I know whether or not can I climb out that'd be cool if I could but I guess it makes sense we couldn't don't take fall damage not from that uh-uh okay now let's take a quick peek there's still that one house and I'm gonna be uh, really mad with myself if I don't explore it while we're here Because, again, what was that? Everything's dead right now, so we gotta take advantage of it. Bad boys. Oh, dear God. 
Somebody light a match. Stinks in here. Lost logs. My detector started picking up something. It turned out to be my very first artifact. A blank is what I think they called it, judging by the recordings. Sold it for some quick cash and restock. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. I hear something. I wonder if... I wonder if I could ever use... One of those, one of those propane tanks properly, like to kill a bunch of baddies, rash through the floor, epic. Oh, another oven. Okay, these seem to be really, really good spots. I'm just putting the individual ammo in. I don't care. Okay, so. I think there's a baddie up there. Based on the sounds that I'm hearing. Which, uh... The problem is... I don't really have a good method for taking care of these enemies, because... I can't... Put my flashlight on my chest so it's facing up. Okay, maybe he's not up here. Grab the flashlight, you idiot. Ooh. Okay, this was worth it. That's a different type of buckshot as well. Okay. I kind of wish that I could just put things over my shoulder. And, uh... It would just put it into my backpack. That would be very nice. I understand why not. I just kind of wish that it was a thing. Because, like, there's kind of things like that with this game that are just slowly getting to me. Where it's like, you know, there's there's definitely a fun aspect of... Um, managing my inventory and so on and so forth. Go, 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 go. But there's also, there's also a level of tedium that I kind of wish that the game didn't have. Like, it would be really nice, for example, just as a quality of life thing, where, what time is it? 23 hours left, which I think is 23 minutes, so I gotta be really careful. Um, I think it would be really, like, I don't think it would be too much to ask when I'm back at town or home base to just press a button and have it like put all of my ammo back in stock uh you know in all of the boxes and crap i understand it's not that kind of a game and managing it out in the field you know that makes sense to me but just little things like that okay there are so many There's so many exploding barrels here. I wonder if this is where I was supposed to lure the enemies to. Okay. Let's just check nice and quick. Okay. 
Okay. Apparently everything's a dead end. I should honestly... Get rid of all those statuesque dudes. Because, frankly speaking... Oh, I should go up first. Frankly speaking, they, uh... They keep tricking me. I keep thinking that it's a bad guy. Oh, this is gonna be good. Oh, okay. Nom, 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 nom. I mean, I'll take more healing stuff. Now, I don't know where... The hell is that? Probably a special rare item or something. Weird. Oh, I was gonna say, I don't know how to... Like, where the stairs are to get out of there, but there they are. Perfect. Because, yeah, I just got to make sure that the tide doesn't get me. Because if it does, we're going to teleport somewhere random. And that's no good. Grab it, dude. Okay. Any idiots down here? Nice. My backpack is... Nowhere near full. You would think that it might be. But we're actually doing pretty okay. Now, so far... This game hasn't done any jump scares. Valve sticking out of the water near a pile of rocks. You'll find it all there. Wait. Ran into that thing, dropped all my equipment into the water, and ran like crazy. Look out for the red valve sticking out of the water near a pile of rocks. Red valve, pile of water. Okay. Pile of water. Yeah, that makes sense. So the water was over there. Uh, oh, unless... I did have binoculars. I don't know where those binoculars are anymore in my backpack because it's just stuffed full. But I wonder if down here is where the valve is or if it was something behind me. It's probably over here. And I know if I don't get it now, I'm gonna forget, but I think this whole area is kind of like a swampland. Yeah, that's kind of ridiculous. So let's check the water that's beside us. But first I want to see, can I go in here? No? Okay. Kind of lame, but whatever. How are we doing on time? 22 minutes. Okay. It's getting there. I see a secret. Okay. Start prioritizing. Anyways, what I was going to say is I don't know if this game... Uh, I don't know if the enemies in this game are smart enough to, like, set up ambushes and crap. They might, but I just haven't seen it yet, and I'm not really expecting it. Okay, nothing here. I wonder if the tide also resets loot, because I just kind of assumed it wouldn't, but I saw this ladder here. Well, that's kind of freaky, isn't it? I gotta say, that was pretty smart of me. <laughs> Even though there's not really anything here. It's like firecrackers or something. Oh, this is worth money. Can I... No. Thought I could smash it and find cookies or something. Okay, let's, uh... Come on. 
Climb, you idiot. Kind of freaky how the game went, like, dead silent down there. Let's, uh... Take a quick gander. So there is that box there. Uh, I think there's supplies on it, but that's okay. I don't know where the red valve is. Could be around here somewhere. Could be over there by that thing. But let's go check. Okay, good. That didn't hurt me. Let's go check up here really quickly if we can see the valve. And then get the hell out. See? Tricked me. For a split second. Where was that water? Is this the water? Yeah, there it is. So I don't see a valve. And the water ends right here. Okay, yep. Let's get out of here. I don't care. Um, yeah, the valve must be like over in the middle of nowhere. Oh my god, this guy's breathing scares me more than the enemies do, dude. That, oh, that was a rock. I thought that was something. There are enemies over there, but that's okay. Because let's go get tier two. That's going to make a big difference. And then I could farm uh, some easier missions just to get our supplies back up or whatever. Yeah, but we only got... So an hour in this game is 20 minutes. Okay. Or, sorry, an hour in this game. An hour in this game is a real life minute. Use the computer in the car. What? Okay. Woo. And then that would be to tier three, the third map, I guess. Oh, uh, I forgot I was going to mention as well. I must have dropped this a long time ago. The, uh, when I was in that area, I was mentioning just passively like, hey, there was this, um, there was a VR game that was like the Metro game. So I actually looked it up and it was like Paradox of Truth or something. It, it had a weird name. Um, <laughs> apparently it was like a little too inspired by Metro and uh, they got like a copy strike. And that game no longer is, exists on the Steam store anymore. Now I kind of regret that I didn't buy it because I will never be able to play it again. <laughs> Okay, uh, find the documents. Dear God. I'm so good at this game. Alright, uh, unlock new equipment. Check out the store. Sweet. You have to undergo training in order to confirm it. Proceed to the shooting range. Oh, right. Um, I mean, it's been a while since I went to the shooting range. How the hell do I get there again? I think it's just down here. I'm not gonna bother, like, clearing up my inventory or anything at the moment. Because I'll just do that off camera. That's just kind of busy work. Like, it's oddly therapeutic, which is kind of nice. But it's definitely... If an enemy can't see or hear you, they won't engage. I mean, they see me no matter where I am. That's probably because my flashlight... Entity and anomalous activity is more severe the closer you get to the center. Oh. To have a chance at surviving... Complete the tasks from your mission computer to gain access to top priority missions that unlock your access level. Okay. Uh, you can equip one armor piece per head and body slot. Hold B with your free hand to enter the dressing mode. Sweet, so I got the body armor. Your armor stats are shown on your watch. Where? Remove the armor, uh, move your hand closer to your chest, and press the grip. Oh, I have 40 armor. Okay. Exit dressing mode by holding B. The only exception, the headlamp. It can be put on or taken off your head outside of dressing mode, simply using the grip. Uh, to turn it on, put it on. Oh my god, that's a lot more light than I was expecting it to be. That's huge. Oh, that's so good. And then I can just turn it off when I'm dealing with enemies and stuff. That's so cool. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
Oh god. I don't know what that looks like for you guys. Oh yeah, that's so weird because with VR, um, it only records one eye. So for me, I actually saw both eyes. So it was kind of cool actually, but uh, you're not invisible to enemies. Try, try being stealthy as possible to avoid their line of sight. Uh, okay. Crouching should- come on, man. Crouching should automatically, like, just stop their field of view. That's so bad, because I- I can't get any lower than that. Their cone? I wonder if I have an item that'll show their cone, because otherwise, like, I feel like I'm going to get caught, like, no matter what I do. Okay, that time it worked. I guess it's certain structures. These dummies can only see you. Unlike the real enemies that can hear and react to light and laser targeting. So lasers... Okay. I kind of feel bad that this game is going to definitely push towards stealth. Once spotted, run away and break line of sight. If the enemy isn't aware of your whereabouts, they can't chase you. Okay. Well, whatever. Grab the gun, insert the magazine, and go to the firing mode. Ah, okay, it's our first rifle. What? Grab the slot. I'm trying. Put away the gun and move behind your leading shoulder to... Oh, God. I need a scope on this. That's kind of cool. Okay, I want that. That's what I want. Oh my god, get out of my inventory. Can I already buy a scar? Are you serious? You can install attachments on a weapon, examine them, and customize your rifle. To remove the attachment, press B with your free hand to go into dressing mode and reach with your hand to grab and remove it. Okay, so dressing mode is not only for my clothes. Uh, press B to hold open into dressing mode. And grab the rifle. Oh, this is just the info. So, you can attach four rail B attachments and a suppressor to this rifle. Where does it say all of that? Oh, these slots. Okay. Each rifle has its own attachment points. They can change the added in the improvements box. Okay. Uh, oh. Turn off the attachment on your weapon, grab the rifle with both hands, and press B with the non-leading hand. Oh, uh, it's not like- uh. Come on, grab the gun with your second hand, you idiot. Okay, that's, that's OP, but I gotta be careful, so I'd have to, like, use the scope. Or, which eye do you guys see? Okay, you see my left eye. The, the laser sight is gonna be huge, if I can actually get that on stuff. Okay, very cool. Um, you will encounter different types of ammunition. Each one is good for certain situations. Oh, dear God. Okay. FMJ, the standard cartridge of this caliber. Characteristics are unchanged. AP, cartridge with increased armor penetration, but reduced damage. So certain enemies are going to have armor, most against special armored enemies. They're all pitch black. How am I going to know if they're armored, dude? SS, subsonic cartridge with decreased volume of fire, but reduced damage and bullet range. Maximum effectiveness with silencer. Oh my god. Uh, plus P, special pistol cartridge with increased damage and armor penetration. Expensive, 
You learn more about weapon and ammo parameters. Pick up the item and... Oh, dear God. Just... No. Like, that's cool and everything, game. But... Just... No, thank you. <laughs> I mean, that's neat, but... You know what I'm really curious about is, are they quieter? And can I mix them? Oh, I can. Okay, so this is the silent gun. The silent rifle. Okay, it mixed with all the other ones. Why is there even silent ammo? That's so weird. Whatever, man. Uh, aim and press A with your non-dominant hand to focus and reduce gun shake. Oh my god, so they do have that. Whoop. There, Jesus. Okay, that's cool that it's a mechanic. I was wondering whether or not it would be. Focusing mode is now available for short firearms. Okay, so only for rifles. Beware, Beware of the tide. The this phenomenon resets things inside the radius. What else? And happens at fixed intervals. Uh -huh. Check your tide meter and plan accordingly. Does it reset everything? That's I still want to know. Does it reset all the loot? Because if it resets the loot, then it's, you know, kind of a double-edged sword. Oh yo 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 yo! All right, you know what? I'm gonna check back with you guys after I get to this mess sorted and get some better gun stuff. All right, so I've been slowly kind of selling and clearing items up like i like the role play idea that we need backup gear but the fact still remains that basically when we die it's game over and i'm just gonna load my file rather than continuing and losing all of my gear uh maybe that would be something that we would do if we were doing a hardcore run or if i was way way later in the game and it wasn't as uh, you know it wasn't as big of a consequence because otherwise all of our missions right now are in the village, save for this one, which actually pays us a lot of money. Find the heavy helix artifact. Use protection and complete the mission before the tide, otherwise the artifacts will be gone. So, that seems to be time sensitive. Uh, and time doesn't seem to pass when we're in here. Unless we sleep. So, kind of interesting to know that. But, the most important thing is now... We have our headlamp. God, that's bright. That's beautiful. And I got our silencer on our pistol. And we got a laser sight as well. So that's going to that's gonna be huge. Um, I did save and load a couple times to experiment with some other weapons that we could get. And while there was definitely some better pistols, not really that big of a deal. Uh, we do have our gas mask right now. I just kind of have it um, really pushed in here because otherwise it takes up so much space in our backpack. But yeah, uh, I just wanted to kind of clue you guys in on all of that. And as much as I would love to buy this shotgun, because it basically has uh, five rounds within the mag, so basically I would be able to shoot five times with it before I would have to start uh, reloading it. I'd love to get that, but it's 3,000. We have 1.3 right now after everything is said and done. I was at like 6,000, uh, but two big things that I learned the hard way. Items that I sell, like, this is a god gun that I've invested, like, over a thousand into, and it only sells for, like, 300. I literally ended up buying uh, a Glock because I wasn't sure if I could put a laser sight on this pistol, and unfortunately, I didn't save before I did it. So now we've just got this sitting in our base as an ornament because I bought this for 700, I sell it back, mint condition, not used, for like 125. This game, dude, like as much as I appreciate the hardcoreness of it, there are a lot of things that are kind of stupid and honestly questionable because 
it's a video game at the end of the day. And that's just like, you know, my bad I didn't save and I accidentally bought the wrong thing. Yeah, that's entirely my fault, but I still think that there should be a lot more leeway with how this game is presented like especially if you buy something you should be able to try it out on the gun range or whatever only when you take it out into the field or maybe only after you fire the weapon then you shouldn't be able to sell it back for the same value but i i just think that that's really unfair and there's a lot of things with this game again that you know there's definitely a lot to love about this game but there's a lot of things that i personally do not like but that's also got to do with the type of person that I am, you know, like I love the whole hardcore survival aspect of it. I love that the game actually gave us like a shortcut to the next location. It's not a fast travel point, but hey, you know, the game is giving us stuff like that. So then there's little things like that that just kind of eat away at me and make me wonder like, oh boy, like this, it feels like this game, especially with how big this map clearly is going to be. This is a game that's going to require an insane amount of time investment. And on top of that, like, I don't know where it's going, you know, like it's both exciting and kind of horrifying at the same time, because I'm struggling with like these base enemies and I don't really feel like I'm getting the hang of the mechanics any more than I normally could. Like there's obviously a lot of a lot of things going on with like, okay, we'll get better guns, they'll do higher damage, so I would have to reload them a lot less, so on and so forth. But as I mentioned while I was out in the field, it's just so annoying and demoralizing that I have to come here and I literally spent like 30 minutes just getting all of this crap cleaned up for you guys and then, you know, buying the attachments for the gun and everything. And it's not like quick and easy. Like even the attachments uh, are really, really unintuitive because in order to even get the weapon ready to put attachments on it, I had to put it in here, upgrade it so that it could end up having the silencer nozzle on the front, upgrading it again so it would have a, a, a slide for the bottom for another attachment for the laser sight. Then I had to come over here, buy these items and attach it to the, to the gun. It's like, dude, I understand the hyper realism and the fact that you can like take these things off of guns and put them back on and everything like that. But dear Lord, like, how about you just let me upgrade the guns over here? Cause the store itself, I mean, I got a, I got a few things to say about this, dude. There's moments of glory but my God, I'm having to work for it. I, I still just cannot help but think, man, I'm wasting a lot of my time with the busy work and it's a video game. In real life, okay, sure, I can understand reloading a gun one mag at a time. I mean, I can't personally because I'm Canadian, but still it's like, it's real life. It makes sense. There's no other option. In this game, it's like, it's a video game. I should be able to press a button and it just reloads everything and puts all my weapons here for me. And then sure, I could manually change it all myself, but still it's like, oh my God, it's just such a time waster and not in a good way. Like, you know, games like Pavlov, uh, you know, Contractors VR, stuff like that. These games, I feel like they have the same amount of depth to their combat and everything, but it gets rid of the boring mundane stuff. This game has all of that, and that makes sense for a survival game. But then I get a fast travel point, and I'm fighting ghosts. <laughs> so you see where it suddenly it just, it doesn't really make sense to me. Like I expect this high level of simulation with all of the ammo and every little bits and bobs and stuff with a game like H3, but you know, a hot dogs, horse shoes and hand grenades, but that's a gun sim. This is a survival game. And I feel like I'm spending more time inventory managing than I am doing survival stuff, which again, that's probably exactly what most people who play this genre of video game enjoy but anyways excuse my long rant i just kind of had to get that out there thanks for watching i do appreciate it and i hope that you guys had fun i did have fun up until a point i feel like i've accomplished something and uh yeah <laughs>